if any, are gay guys? Who disagrees and why? And that's from Ken Kareem. So do you think you should have guy friends outside of gays and uh, your family? Yeah, yeah, gay guys. Yes or no? Well, um, you're kind of lesbian. I, it, well, I don't know. I think that they can have male friends, but not too, not too close. Like, it's kind of weird. Do you have guy friends? Yeah. I don't really talk to them that much. Then you're not, not a good friends. friend. If yeah. You're not, yeah, you're not a good friend if you're not sleeping with your guy friend. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking all my female friends. <laughs> what a generous. What about man. you? Do you think, no, no, <laughs> that, yeah. do, you, do you think that? Uh, um, what are your thoughts on women having male friends uh, when they have a boyfriend? Um, not when they're seriously with a guy. Okay, I think. so yeah. you agree with him that it should be gay guys only. Or male family members. Chris, pull that back up. I just I don't want to contort his question. Gay guys shouldn't have female friends. They should have gay other male friends. Okay. Do you agree with this state statement? He says here, um, he believes that outside of the male family and boyfriends, the only male friends a woman should have, if any, are gay guys. Disagree or agree? Uh disagree. Why do you disagree? Because sometimes the male friends could be someone that you've had history with. Okay. Do you think that Guy friends look at girls as platonic friends for real, though? I guess it just depends on the guy. Okay. Do you think do you think men and women could just be like platonic friends in general? Yeah. Really? Do you have guy friends yourself? Mm-hmm. Do you think any of Maybe them Maybe want... it's because, like, they're more of business partners, I guess. That means you're there, your associates, then, yeah, associates or colleagues. Not friends, yeah. Yeah. You're not necessarily friends. <laughs> they want to fuck too. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Do you think your guy friends want to have sex with you? I believe that some of them in the past did, yeah. Do you think the ones you have now still want to have sex with you? I actually don't really have too many male friends anymore. Okay, why? Was it because they tried to have sex <laughs> with you? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. She sucks at answering questions. Yeah. Okay. But all right, we're gonna we're gonna move back, move on. Uh, okay. Do you agree with this? That outside of male family, family and boyfriends, uh, the only male friends a woman should have, if any, are gay guys. Disagree. Why do you disagree? Because, um, what about the friends that she met prior to you? But you met those friends, and you're cool with those friends as well. Like, I'm in a sorority, so I have fraternity brothers. But my fraternity <laughs> brothers, no, 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 no. <laughs> my fraternity brothers met my significant other and they actually hung out like they're cool and stuff like that. They still want to fuck. No, they Fair. do not. One of, one of them is like honorary godfather to my But child. notice how he became friends with them. So therefore he kind of took them from you because I guarantee at this point now he probably hangs out with them more than you do at this point, right? No, they don't speak to him. Those so they just my- talk to you? Yeah, because those those are my brothers. Like, so you I'm, still talk to them? Of course. I've known them way prior. That's why that initi- nigga initiated the divorce. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got it now. We got the reason why now. By the way. Uh, okay. Three keys. We got hey, three keys. Three keys. Three keys. Canadian man, appreciate you, my friend. Shout, Shout out to you. Shout out to Canada. Word, man. Um, Trudeau's fucking y'all over though. Yeah, um, 100%. Okay, what about you? Um, do you agree that the only male friends you have are outside of male friends and your boyfriend, male family members and your boyfriend should be gay guys? Agree or disagree? I disagree. Why? Because I feel like I, on my side, can have friends that are strictly platonic, but I could see how if I had a boyfriend... Do you why... have platonic friends now? Yes, one. One guy, friend, that's strictly platonic. You don't think he's trying to... He wants to have sex with you? I know he's not, but really? he just came out, so that makes sense. Uh, I was going to say, yeah. I can see... <laughs> I was okay. going to say, though, I can hey, see... Y'all. I can see both sides because I've never had a friend that's a guy that I believe that he didn't want to have sex with me. So I can see why, like, if I had a boyfriend and he said that, I could understand. Because it's okay. like putting your trust all in your partner. Because every guy friend I've had, like, can't strictly be friends. Interesting. Okay. So if your boyfriend told you no guy friends, are you, would you be cool with that? I've never had a boyfriend. I'm not finna listen to a man, so I don't know. Like, damn! <laughs> damn. Oh, oh, the situation. God damn, okay. <laughs> all right. Fantastic. What about you? I completely disagree. Why? Because I have a lot of male friends. Oh, really? Oh, you and... do? She belongs to the street. Red flag. <laughs> listen. Whoever says that a woman cannot have male friends is very insecure. Stop the cat. Deeply, super, very insecure. Tell us how. Because he doesn't want his woman to be surrounded by any male energy. 
because mm. he has a small fucking dick. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh, so you want big dicks around you then? That's not it. Um, <laughs> I just naturally, I just feel better with men around me. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna make fun of this, um, but I'm just I can be better friends with guys than girls because it's less drama. It's less talking about your back. It's just literally friendship straightforward nothing Same. nothing I, I, else so you said you prefer to have guys around you why do you prefer to have guys around guy you? friends i just well, it's, it's just simple okay it's, it's e simple it's easier very yeah. easy, would, it, yes. would it be fair to say a part of it uh, I, think I can summarize it for you is it because they're easier to deal with less emotional you don't have to you can be yourself around them Correct. and they offer utility such as like maybe protection maybe paying for an outing here or there they're easier to be around etc is that why i don't really like i don't let a guy friend to pay for anything okay um simple as that but no i'm just maybe help out around with physical labor they can do things not really no i can do everything myself but okay. realistically speaking there's certain things that they might be able to do that you just physically can't that's never been a thing. It's never been a thing? <laughs> no, not okay. in my experience. So you just, so you're the only, what is the main reason you hang out with them then? Or prefer male friends? Again, because it's simple to, like, it's just easy to talk to them. It's easier because they don't judge. They just listen to you and they'll say everything up front. Whatever they think is what they think. They give good advice, better They're, advice than women do? Actually, yes. Okay. You I have, have one question for them. you. Yeah. What do they want from you? Ooh, just my question. friendship no 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 pure friendship Think about what i'm asking you deep down <laughs> what do they want from you i don't know you should ask deep them no. <laughs> i've never been I curious think the better, the, better the answer is she doesn't care what they want because exactly. she's getting what she wants because yeah. here's the thing i've realized right and you kind of your own actions exemplify this i've said it before i'll say it again there's not much utility a girl can bring you if she's your friend as a man there's really not much if you're Besides not fucking her she's virtually useless to you and okay. i hate to say it like that but you get the best out of a woman is when she's your girl, she's being submissive to you, she's being dutiful to you, etc. Not when she's your friend. When she's your friend, there's not much value there. Because mm -hmm. everything a woman provides, you can get from a guy. And on top of that, they're going to be able to better identify with your situations because men and women live different existences. Like there are certain things that you experience that a man will never experience. There's certain problems that a man experiences that you will never deal with. So I don't think women are really in a position to be good friends to a man. It benefits you, though, because they offer you utility, which you described earlier. They'll listen to your problems. Yeah. They're, they're, they're problem solvers. They'll tell you how you can fix things. They look at the world more objectively versus emotionally than women do. And you can be yourself around them. You don't have to worry about some weird, snarky, passive-aggressive attitude that's going to come after the fact from you saying something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think women get way more value from male friends because men in general just offer more value w when they deal with women. But women are, don't have to necessarily offer value in return. So a lot of guys are just okay with being near a pretty girl, and they think that's enough. That You're not Perfect. Wrong. <laughs> okay so that's that's what i mean I, I don't think women offer much utility to men so it's a win for a woman to put a guy in the friend zone but it's not a win for the guy but they're still friends with me so because they're stupid <laughs> i'm gonna be honest because they're dumb okay. i guarantee I'll you because they because they want to smash yeah. the thing is that they don't have the balls yeah. to actually tell you hey i'm interested in you sexually they don't want to get rejected i have to agree with you a few of the the male friends that i've had in the past they tried something they like they had their move and whatever else. And you rejected them. They DM they, they DM me on Instagram. You know, just like literally one or two out of mm -hmm. all the people that my ex was terrified of. <laughs> but the rest was literally purely just friendship. Okay, so question for you: You said most of the guys that you talked to wanted something more, right? No, two, like, like two literally, three, yeah, okay. yeah, just a few. So a few of them. But and that I can I, like most of it I can identify beforehand. Okay. Like I know I see how, the way you're looking at me. I know that. If I was available, you would probably make a move, mm -hmm. you know, but that's why I don't hang out with guys like that. Okay. I only hang out with I'm guys. I'm going to bet those other guys that didn't shoot their shot, they want to get with you too. They're just that they're scared. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that now that, now, okay, so we talked about guys want to take it a step further. Mm -hmm. So is a guy really insecure if he doesn't want you to have male friends? Yes, I believe so. I disagree. I think if anything, he's very secure in male nature and understands how men think and act and wants to mm. protect you from it. Okay. Makes sense. You have a point. So is it really insecure? From what I've seen. So you're saying they got, hold on, they're insecure and they have small dicks. <laughs> because, because they don't want to have guy, that guy friends. Okay. Uh, that's what you're saying right now. You know what they say. <laughs> yeah. I, I, here's the thing. When girls say insecure or small dick energy, that's typically translation. I don't like the fact that the guy that I'm dealing with has boundaries and standards and I don't want to necessarily adhere to them. So I want to be able to continue to act like I'm single even though I have a guy at home. And what we tell guys all the time is that if you're a man and you have a woman, you have to have boundaries and standards. And one of them is if she has her guy friends around, she doesn't respect you to that same degree. She should be willing to cut those guys. I guarantee because you. Because here's the thing. Yeah, I don't, it's not that I don't trust you. I don't trust them. Yeah. I understand. And I've heard that before. And that man was 
very insecure. Like he would literally be jealous of every single person and not only male that would speak to me anywhere. Literally, he would be jealous of my coworkers and he's seen them like they're two out of 10 and he'd be jealous of them still. But I'm you like, gotta... come on, do you think I don't have like some kind of self-esteem? Do you think I don't have my, you know, the scale? Do you think I don't hold myself well? well do you think I'm thing. really going to like go for those guys? Come on. Well, here's the thing. You can say that. I get it. Like, I can control myself, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, since the beginning of time, if you look at any type of culture, whether it was Muslims, Christians, Jews, etc., everyone from across the world, despite not meeting each other, always made sure that their women were modest and dressed a certain way and protected them from men. Why is that? How? Because, because they don't you, trust each other. Be, well, no, the, the 